Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you deploy your Hugging Face models on Azure. And that we will be doing using Azure AI Studio. So before this video, I have created another video in which we covered the similar scenario, but without writing even a single line of code. And in this scenario, we will be writing code using Python as a programming language. Now the question is, why do we need to go with this scenario if we can achieve the same thing with no code solution? A uh, point here is it's not possible to customize everything without writing a single line of code. And that's the reason we are going with this code based solution wherein we can tweak some things, whether it is the models version or it could be the traffic percentage or how much traffic do you want to uh, utilize on this particular endpoint. So all these things you can do it only using this code. And that's the reason I'm showing you this particular scenario wherein we will be writing some lines of code to achieve the similar kind of functionality. So in order to get started, let's go to Azure portal. And first of all, we need to create a resource group. So I'm creating a new resource group, SH face res in West US 2. You can choose any reason which works for you. And once this is done, the next thing is we need to go ahead and create an instance of Azure machine learning. So here, so that we can create our new workspace under that. So let's select the namespace which we just created, our resource group which we just created. And here I would say AML. Uh, make sure to select the correct region here. Review plus create and then click on create. It will go ahead and start provisioning the resource for us. Uh, so it's gonna take few seconds. Meanwhile, we can go to VS Code and see what all things we need to do. So the very first thing, make sure that you are installing these two packages. The first one is Azure AI ML and the second one is Azure Identity. So once these two are in place, we are good to go ahead and write those few lines of code. The very first thing we will do, we will be doing is getting the credentials. Like, so make sure that you are able to get the token successfully using these two lines. And for some reason, if you are not getting this, then you can go with the alternative approach, which is using interactive browser credential. So if you're going with interactive, interactive browser credential, then a pop-up window will come up wherein you can enter your credential, including your uh, email ID and the password and you are through. So once you have that in place, it means you are good to go and use this credential object. Then we can go ahead and create a client object. So for creation of the client object, there are two different ways. The one way is you, you can create it from the config, otherwise you can create directly. So when you're creating directly, make sure that you are passing four parameters. The first one is credential, then you need resource group name, then subscription ID and your workspace name. So these things you can pass it. Alternatively, you can use from config and define all those three settings inside this configuration file. So in my case, I have already defined those settings in this file. So I'm calling from config. So it found the config file. It is sitting in my local directory. So I'm not giving a complete path here. The next thing is we need to connect this to our Hugging Face Hub registry. So here we need to provide the registry name. So this time we are using Hugging Face. So our registry name would be Hugging Face. And using that, we are creating a registry client object. So let it execute. Okay. Next thing is we need to decide on the model name. So which model do you want to use? In my case, I just picked this one. It is from Google's uh, Google and it is Big Bird based trivia ITC and it works for the question and answer kind of scenarios. So I'm going with this particular here. You can see the sample question answering. It is saying, where do I live? And the context, it is saying this and the output is London. So in similar fashion, we need to provide our input as well. Let's go back to the code. So I'm just specifying the model name here. And then uh, along with the version, I'm just creating a model object. So once this is done, we are good with this model object. Uh, we can go ahead and use this model object. Next thing is we need to create an endpoint. So before creating an endpoint, let me quickly check whether our workspace is created. So go to this studio. And you can see it is over here. 
it means we are good to go ahead and uh, create endpoint as well as the deployment now for creating the endpoint make sure that you are importing managed online endpoint from azure ai ml entities here you need to provide the name of your endpoint and keep in mind that this endpoint name has to be unique within the region otherwise it will throw you error and it will not allow you to create your endpoint so one way to make it unique is either you directly put unique name otherwise you can also append some guid or current timestamp so that it will never match with the existing ones so i'm just going with this one let's make it as h1 and then i'm creating the endpoint wherein i need to pass the endpoint name the description of the endpoint you can provide any description so that you can identify your endpoint and then the key so with this let's execute the cell and it will go ahead and create an endpoint for us so it's gonna take one to two minutes let's give it some time so according to this this cell is successful so let me quickly go and validate this over here so if you will go to endpoints so it should list that endpoint and this is the one which we just created so the right side panel is still not loaded it means it is still going on so let's give it some more time meanwhile i will show you how can we create the deployment so for creating a deployment we need to import managed online deployment and we need to specify the unique name for our deployment then the endpoint name to which this has to be associated the model id and the instance type so the instance type would be definitely be the different for you it completely depends on what model you're using or what uh, what would be the size of your vm or like what kind of uh, processing power you are looking for so accordingly you need to choose this one for experimenting purpose i just uh, chose this one and i'm putting instance one but when you are in production definitely this instance count has to be more than one so let's quickly run this cell as well and now this is going to take at least 14 minutes so i'm going to pause my video here and we'll come back so it is still creating by the time let's go and prepare the input now the input has to be in the form of a json so i'm going to write some data here so let's say inputs and here we need to say question so the question which i can take here is who invented rocket let's go with this question and like i said as per the model it also expects the context so this would be our context and this text i just grabbed it from copilot so 19 i missed something okay so our input is ready so this is the input which we are going to use here I can quickly explain you the next portion of this code so now what we are doing is now we have input is still getting created but we can go ahead and look into it so we need to call the invoke and this invoke will take three parameters the first one is the endpoint name second is your deployment name and the third one is your input file so in our case it is just the input JSON which we just created over here so we'll pass this as an input and it will provide us with the response so let's wait until our previous step is done it looks like some network issues happen at my place because i just got disconnected from the internet but let me quickly validate on the portal so let's refresh it and everything is successful so it looks like we are good to go is this the error on the front end I will collapse this and let me validate this using by invoking the endpoint so and here you can see that the response is here so our question is 
question was who invented rocket and this is the answer so this is how you can utilize this python code to get the response from any of the hugging face models which are deployed on azure so i hope this was useful and thanks for watching